what's up soul fam today i have for you a wrist free yoga sequence so come sit on the mat with me with your legs crossed spine nice and tall shoulders are on the back and slight tuck in the chin and we can place the hands on the knees or together in the lap and closing the eyes and we'll just begin by bringing our awareness inwards to our breath and we're just observing the natural rhythm here. We're not forcing or trying to make the breath move in any way. Just becoming present into this very moment, connecting with our breath, connecting with ourselves and our bodies. And if our mind starts to wander at all and we feel our mind clouded with a lot of thoughts, we'll take a nice deep breath in and exhale all the thoughts away, completely emptying the mind and bring in our awareness back to our natural breathing. Again, we're still just staying with our natural rhythm here and bringing ourselves back to our breath every time our mind wanders. And then we can bring the hands together in prayer and bow the head down, gently opening the eyes and lifting the head. We're then going to start off by finding our way up to standing on the mat, as this is a wrist-free sequence. So we're going to be doing some standing postures. So we're going to warm up the body by starting with some neck circles. We'll bring the right ear to the right shoulder and circle the head down and round. And your circles can be big or they can be small. However you do your neck circles, be mindful of the neck. And then we'll take it round in the other direction. If we feel any discomfort at all, we'll just stop the pose, stop the stretch and rest. One more here, then come back to center. We'll do some shoulder circles, so circling them around in one direction, doesn't matter which because we're going to do both. And then we'll take it in the opposite direction. And then we're going to take the feet so that they are hip width apart and we're going to do some hip circles. So again, circling the hips round in one direction. Then we'll take it round in the opposite direction. One more. And then we can bring the feet back together. We'll then bend the knees and place the hands on tops of the thighs and we're just going to circle the knees round in one direction. Then we'll circle them the other way. And then we can come back up to standing and we'll stretch out the ankles so we'll flex point, flex point one foot and then circle it round in one direction and circle it the other way. Then we can bring that foot back down, move on to the opposite leg, flex point, flex point the foot and circle it round one direction and circle it round the other way. Then we can bring that foot back down onto the mat and we can begin our little sequence. So we'll start with tree pose and we're gonna shift the weight into the right leg and we can bring the heel of the left foot to rest on the ankle or we can bring it to the calf or even all the way up to the top of the inner thigh keeping that left knee pulling out to the sides and really pressing the foot into the inner thigh. Our standing leg is nice and strong with a nice little micro bend in the knee and finding a point in the room to focus on for stability. And you can have the hands together in prayer or on the hips, whichever feels good for you. And then we're going to move into our next posture so from here we'll gently release the left leg and we're going to step it back one leg distance from the front foot 
and we want to square our hips with the long side of the mat. The uh, left foot is pointing to the long side of the mat and the right to the short. We'll then extend the arms out to the side and then exhale reaching over the right hip and coming down into our triangle pose. We can grab hold of some blocks if we need to help keep the spine nice and straight and looking up at the top palm. And just breathing here. And then we're gonna exhale, bend into that front leg, square the hips to the short side of the mat, the front side of the mat, and reaching the arms up by the side of the ears. If you have shoulder or neck troubles, you can bring them onto the hips or together in prayer in front of the chest. And bending, leaning nicely into that front leg. We can be up on the heels of the back foot, or we can have that foot, the heel reaching down to the mat. Breathing nice and deep, and then exhale, we'll open it up to warrior two. So the hips come in line with the long side of the mat. And we've still got that nice 90 degree bend in that front leg. Arms are extended out to the sides and relax down on the back. And we gaze at the middle finger on the right hand. And then exhale, we can bring the hands to the hips, extending that front leg and turning the foot in. We'll then take a nice deep breath in and exhale, hinge forwards from the hips, coming into a wide forward fold. You can bring the hands down to the mat or you can always grab hold of your blocks to help keep your spine nice and straight and stretching, stretching in the back. Wherever we are, we want to stay present with our breath, breathing nice and deeply into the belly. One more breath here. Then inhaling, we'll bring the hands to the hips, exhale, come all the way back up to standing. We'll then turn the left foot to the short side of the mat and step it to the top. So we'll do the same on the opposite side. So I'll turn around so you can see. This time I'll shift the weight onto my left leg and then we'll guide the heel to the ankle or either to the calf or all the way up to the inner thigh, never on the knee joint. And again, keeping that knee coming out to the sides, hands together in prayer on the hips, standing leg strong and finding the point a point in the room for you to focus on for stability. Focusing on our breath. And then we're gonna move into our next posture, our triangle pose. So we'll exhale, gently release that leg and step it back one leg distance. Squaring the hips to the long side of the mat. We'll then extend the arms out to the sides. Inhale, reaching over the left hip, exhale, coming down into your triangle pose. Again, you can grab hold of your blocks if you're using. Otherwise, we can take the gaze up towards the top hand. Breathing nice and deep, actively pressing the hips forwards. Then exhale, we'll come up Bend in that front knee and swing the right arm through, coming into our warrior one pose. So again, our hips are square to the front of the mat. We can be up on the balls of the feet, or we can reach that heel down. Nice 90 degree bend in the front leg. Arms on, the hands on the hips, or together in prayer, or even up by the sides of the ears. Keeping the belly and ribs pulling in. Nice strong pose feeling that fire build in the quads. Then exhale, we'll open it up to warrior two, so the hips come in line with the long side of the mat. We still have that nice bend in the front knee. And we'll exhale, extend it, extend the arms out to the sides. Taking the gaze to the middle finger on the left hand. And again, keeping the belly and ribs pulling in. 
and breathe. See if you can bend into that front leg a little bit more. Then exhale, we can lengthen that leg, bring the hands to the hips and turn the foot in. Take a nice deep breath in and exhale, folding it forwards for another wide forward fold. This time, if you'd like to take a variation, we could take the peace fingers and grab hold of the big toes. And you can use the toes to help pull you down and deepen the stretch. Keeping the shoulders pulling on the back away from the ears. And grounding down through all four corners of the feet. And inhaling, bringing the hands to the hips, exhale, come all the way back up to standing. We're then just going to shimmy the feet inwards until they're just a little past hip width apart and have the feet pointing out towards the corners of the mat. We're then going to take a nice deep breath in and exhale, sink the hips down, coming into our yogi squat. Maybe as you do this, you come up onto the heels, onto the balls of the feet, if that's absolutely fine. We can grab some blocks to place under the heels for stability. And we want to bring the the, the triceps pressing against the knees to really help open the chest, reaching that chest forwards. Maybe we can't quite reach the hips, the hips don't quite come down so low, so we can grab hold of our blocks for stability, placing it in whichever position will help us the most. Even if you can't quite sink your hips low enough to reach a squat, that's absolutely fine. Just hold in a low yogi squat. And again, breathing, maybe shimmying from side to side to open, create some space in those hips. Whatever feels good for you here. And then we can gently just drop the butt back and bring ourselves back into our lotus pose for a closing meditation. So the spine's nice and tall, shoulders are on the back, slight tuck in the chin and placing the hands on the knees or together in the lap and closing the eyes. And again, bringing your awareness back to your breath. And we're gonna take some nice deep breaths. So we'll inhale through the nose, filling up the belly, ribs and chest. Then exhaling, waving back down, the chest comes down, ribs pull in, belly last. Inhaling, filling up the belly, ribs and chest. And exhaling. Inhaling. Exhaling. One more nice deep breath. Inhale through the nose. And exhale completely then you can let your breath come back to its natural rhythm take a moment to thank yourself for taking some time to practice some yoga some much needed movement medicine again a little reminder if the mind starts to wander you can just bring it back to your breath and take a nice deep breath to exhale the thoughts away. Just a couple more breaths here for some nice Peace, quiet and calm. And then we can bring the hands together in prayer in front of the chest. Bow the head down and gently bat the eyelids open when you're ready. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me. See you again, guys. Bye.